Jess, love it, Jess, loves you. So are you saved? Are you saved? The first step, the first step is you have to be born again. You have to be born again. A lot of people skip over that step. A lot of people skip over the step of being born again. There's a lot of people who have lived their whole life for Jesus that are going to be in hell forever because they haven't been born again. They haven't really met God and given Jesus their life. Jesus is God. You have to surrender your heart. God has to... It's a supernatural event where God... G, the Spirit of Jesus is... Jesus is God. The Spirit of Jesus is the Holy Spirit. He'll work on your heart and you say, Jesus, from now on, whatever you want me to do, I'll do. And you mean it. And if, it, if you actually give Jesus your life, it's like an atom bomb. You'll know it happened. So people skip over that step, being born again. They just go to like serving Jesus, doing stuff for Jesus, praying. You have to be born again. So, so evidence, the number one evidence that you're born again is you're not just doing stuff for Jesus. Like, Jesus lives in you, the author of the Bible lives in you if you're born again, and everything is about Jesus. Jesus, what do you want here? Jesus, what do you want here? But you have to be born again first. If you just, it's really, it's really good to ask Jesus what he wants, but you, you have to give him your life if you want to go to heaven. Jesus has to know you. You can't just live a life living for Jesus. Like you have to be born again and give Jesus control of your life. And you'll know it's like an atom bomb. You won't miss it. When you actually get saved, you'll know. So, and you go from like, Jesus takes over your life. So it's like Jesus living through you. So Jesus living through you Living for Jesus is different than Jesus living through you. So, and you'll be marked by holiness, love, truth, righteousness. Reading the Bible, praying, it's all about Jesus. And if you're trying to get saved, you read the New Testament, pray, talk, like talk to Christians you respect, like, I don't know if I'm saved. How do I get saved? You pray about it. You ask Jesus for help. If you seek with all your heart, you will find Jesus and the atom bomb will go off if you seek with all your heart. So, and even if you're not saved, holiness, righteousness, love, truth, you seek after those things, you get rid of sin, sexual immorality, drugs, getting drunk, getting high, like Anything that gets in the way of you, and no matter who you are, anything that gets in the way of you and Jesus has to go. So you have to be just about Jesus. So the Bible says, the just shall live by faith. It's from faith to faith. So you ha even if you have the faith as small as a mustard seed, just a little tiny faith in Jesus... If you keep seeking Jesus, he'll grow that faith until you give your life to Jesus and then you'll have saving faith. So make sure you're saved. Like Anyways, read the New Testament, pray to God, pray to Jesus and make sure you've been born again. You have to really make sure on that. So it just really weighs on my heart. Like a lot of people think they're going to heaven and they're not. There's a lot of religions that think they're going to heaven and they're not. But what disturbs me even more is there's a lot of Christians who think they're going to heaven and they're not. It's possible to have peace with God. So like if what I just said, 
disturbs you and you're like, I don't know if I'm a Christian, like a true Christian, that's a good thing because you keep seeking, you keep seeking, reading the New Testament, asking Jesus to save you. It's a good thing to be rattled out of a fake faith. So like you keep seeking and you'll find and if there's no atom bomb, there's no salvation. And Adam, when an atom bomb happens, everybody knows it. <laughs> You'll know it, people around you. Like, Jesus just took this person over. So, you can find salvation and peace with God. So, anyways. I just worry that people don't actually know Jesus. They're just excited about Jesus. I... I love that people are excited about Jesus. I love it. But like, you you can still go to hell. Like, you can do all the Jesus-y stuff and go to hell if you don't have Jesus. Jesus loves you. Keep seeking him. Whether, if you're born again, hallelujah. If you're trying to be born again, hallelujah. <laughs> if, if you're trusting Jesus, hallelujah. So keep seeking, you will find. The Bible promises that if you seek with all your heart, you will find Jesus. So I love you guys. Jesus loves you. And love you, Jesus loves you. Uh, yeah, it's the straight. We walk, by, we walk by faith even before we're saved. We walk by faith and holiness, the New Testament, the Holy Spirit. We give our life to Jesus and everything changes and it's almost autopilot. Sorry. <laughs> so I wanted to make this to make sure people were actually saved. Also to encourage you, no matter where you are in your walk with Jesus, before you're saved, you just gave your life to Jesus. After you're saved, be encouraged that Jesus loves you, he died for you, to pay for your sin, like, Jesus loves us, he loves us a lot, so, he really does, so make sure you're born again, don't just assume it, like, make sure, like, anyways, Jesus loves you, love you, Jesus loves you, give your life to Jesus, keep seeking, don't give up, be encouraged, Jesus loves you, follow Jesus. Love Jesus, loves you. Jesus.